Hello guys, my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to play something different there are going to be trees that are going to try to cut us down. That is right new mobs are in the field. But we need to keep going because if it gets dark and all of the creepers and all of the Minecraft trolls that could possibly join my Minecraft server and then they start to troll when it is not yet done that would not be good for business because we need to finish it pretty quickly so none of those trolls have any chance to troll me. But I am a fast builder so everything should be good to go and we should still be safe before the night falls. But I think this is going to be our vacation house because I do really need a safe vacation house for personal reasons. Oh but do not forget about the floor because otherwise the creepers will still blow up and they could make a tunnel underneath and we would still not be safe and the trolls can lay some TNT down and we should still be safe because they would not dig a tunnel because they are trolls and trolls do not have anything better to do than to lay down TNT and ignite it or to pour a bucket of lava on top of your treehouse and your treehouse would then burn down but we are not going to dig down anymore we are just going to lay obsidian on top of this tree and it should still be safe I mean it is a lot of obsidian that you need to gather with your pickaxe if you are going to build this in survival and it is also going to require you a lot and I mean a lot of spiderwebs because spiderwebs are pretty troll prof even though you can just chop them down with a sword really quickly but still it helps a lot. But let me tell you a story about a spider named Jeff that lived in between the two walls in a tree house that was also made out of obsidian just like this tree house. There was no roof on that particular tree house so the spider was climbing on top of the outer wall and got stuck in some spider webs that were not actually made by a spider but they were just laid down by a human that was called Steve. And the spider named Jeff did not like human Steve so he wanted to tear his nemesis human he decided he could do the best by going in between the walls and because there was no roof he did just do that he lived in between the walls for a couple of days but he struggled to get food because you know he live in a wall so there is not much food but lucky for him the way he got in was the way he could get out and because he could get out like that he can get food on the outside with your head with a smile which is not really that nice but at least you respawn right here so you don't really have to worry about like doing anything else like what we had to go through in this school which you can just do without skill and it is just knowing what to do in that school wait what is this then avoid the playground bullies where are these bullies then oh here is just one. Oh no it is Matt and Jack what are they going to do oh they are pretty aggressive right here they just killed me for no actual reason. Why did they do that then? I am not sure but this time let's just avoid them and then they don't have any reason to like to knock me out or something. But at the moment that is pretty hard so he catched some cows and stuff and he got a lot of food like that so that was nice for Jeff and Jeff was very happy about that because food is happiness. And Jeff was getting a bit chubby but Jeff did not care because all he did was sat there in between those two walls and eat. The only exercise that Jeff got was getting the exercise from hunting. And he hunted not only cows but in the first stage of his experience of living between the walls he only did eat cow because a lot of cows live nearby. But he did not want to eat beef anymore his stomach craved for some other food because if you only eat one thing for the rest of your life it would get really boring but on the other hand he would know how to cook it very well so that is nice but he hunted some sheeps because why have abs when you can have kebabs but the kebab did not fill his stomach enough because it was just some sheep but Jeff was not happy because Jeff did not like the kebabs and it made him sad there was also no McDonald's because it was Minecraft and his roommate Steve did not cook very well Steve did not have a clue that a spider was living there because who in the right mind would suspect that but the spider found out that if he hunted at night he could eat some zombies and other mobs and he thought that that was pretty rad because he liked to kill bad guys. He was really happy because he made the world a better place and not many people like to make the world a better place and those people are only busy with bettering their own life because that is what is important to them. But now those people still don't have anything and Jeff did so Jeff was happy because he at least tried to better the world. But Jeff did not yet fulfill his duty to fill his belly and because of that he was still sad. But Steve was also sad so they were both sad because they both did not have a good 
did love life because they did not have a love neither of them so they were sad like I already said a hundred times. But Jeff was still in the walls and Jeff did not love his life so he decided to love someone else. But Steve was hungry as well and Steve did not have an oven. The poor sud. So one day Jeff decided to confront Steve because they were both hungry but Steve had meat and Jeff did not have meat. But Jeff knew how to cook and he even had a little OPV Ian in his spiderweb fort. But yeah Steve had meat and Jeff an oven so Jeff convinced Steve to let him cook the meat. Well TSTV was pretty impressed because I don't think anyone has ever seen a spider cook. But it was actually a really delicious meal and I say that pretty funny. Delicious Haya I knew that I would say it like that. Man now I am getting hungry and I am hungry just like Steve. Maybe I have a spider in a wall I do not know but it would be really cool and I would call that spider Jeff as well and he would be my personal cook because spiders cook delicious meals as Jeff did. But yeah Steve had some pig meat in his position and Jeff made a nice meal. And Jeff cooked it good and Steve was finally happy and Jeff was having a good time as well even though they they were human and spider. They had some tea as well and they were having such a good time that they danced with each other. But I did not yet tell you how Jeff cooked with his special method did I? No because I was not yet done with my story and I already started talking about something else because I get distracted pretty quickly. But anyways fudge that entire story. Why did they do that then? I am not sure but this time let's just avoid them and then they don't have any reason to like to knock me out or something. But at the moment that is pretty hard because Matt is trying pretty darn hard, and I am not entirely sure how to, oh you just needed to jump over the fence. Wait what do we need to do now? We are now a teenager and we need to make it through puberty. What is this then? Like if we touch one of these moving things do we die or what happens then? I am not sure but that is the aim of the game I guess, to like not touch any of them and just not die and make it to the end, but it could be pretty hard. Like some of these sticks are just underneath the ground and just like we saw there they just come up at you and if you weren't really that lucky, but you just need to be a bit unlucky then one of those things will rise underneath your feet and then you will be as unlucky to just walk there, and then you are dead I guess. And then you didn't make it through puberty, but you can try again right here so that is great and we just need to jump as much as we can and just avoid as many of these sticks that we can. I don't want to die once again. But that was pretty hard. You didn't know when one of those things would come up at you. Wait what do we need to do now then? Get through your first disco? Okay that seems pretty easy just jump on the... Oh apparently, we died. I am not sure why because it didn't seem like we did anything wrong but I guess that you have to guess which blocks are good and which ones are bad. Oh no you don't do that. You just don't touch the colored things that give light. You need to stay on the black bricks. And if you touched one of those colored things then you would die. Well that wouldn't really be that good. But now we are somewhere else and we just need to wait because we just need to sit our finals. And that is pretty great, you don't actually need to make any finals. But in here you just sit them to build this in survival. And it is also going to require you a lot, and I mean a lot of spiderwebs. Because spiderwebs are pretty troll prof. Even though you can just chop them down with a sword really quickly but still it helps a lot. But let me tell you a story about a spider named Jeff that lived in between the two walls in a diamond house that was also made out of obsidian just like this diamond house. There was no roof on that particular diamond house so the spider was climbing on top of the outer wall and got stuck in some spider woods that were not actually made by a spider but they were just laid down by a human that was called Steve. And the spider named Jeff did not like human Steve so he wanted to to terrorize his nemesis human. He decided he could do the best by going in between the walls and because there was no roof he did just do that he lived in between the walls for a couple of days but he struggled to get food because you know he live in a wall so there is not much food but lucky for him the way he got in was the way he could get out and because he could get out like that he can get food on the outside with your head with a smile, which is not really that nice. But at least you respawn right here so you don't really have to worry about like doing anything else like what we had to go through in this school which you can just do without skill and it is just knowing what to do in that school. Wait what is this then? Avoid the playground bullies? Where are these bullies then? Oh here is just one. Oh no it is Matt and Jack. What are they going to do? Oh, they are pretty aggressive right here. They just killed me for no actual reason. Why did they do that then? I am not sure but this time let's just avoid them and then they don't have any reason to like to knock me out or something. 
But at the moment that is pretty hard so he catched some cows and stuff and he got a lot of food like that so that was nice for Jeff and Jeff was very happy about that because food is happiness. And Jeff was getting a bit chubby but Jeff did not care because all he did was sat there in between those two walls and eat. The only exercise that Jeff got was getting the exercise from hunting. And he hunted not only cows but in the first stage of his experience of living between the walls he only did eat cow because a lot of cows live nearby. But he did not want to eat beef anymore. His stomach craved for some other food because if you only eat one thing for the rest of your life it would get really boring. But on the other hand he would know how to cook it very well, so that is nice. But he hunted some sheeps because why have abs when you can have kebabs? But the kebab did not fill his stomach enough because it was just some sheep. But Jeff was not happy because Jeff did not like the kebabs and it made him sad. There was also no McDonald's because it was Minecraft and his roommate Steve did not cook very well. Steve did not have a clue that a spider was living there because who in the right mind would suspect that but the spider found out that if he hunted at night he could eat some zombies and other mobs and he thought that was pretty rad because he liked to kill bad guys he was really happy because he made the world a better place and not many people like to make the world a better place and those people are only busy with bettering their own life because that is what is important to them but now those people still don't have anything and Jeff did so Jeff was happy because he at least tried to better the world but Jeff did not yet fulfill his duty to fill his belly and because of that he was still sad. But Steve was also sad so they were both sad because they both did not have a good love life because they did not have a love neither of them so they were sad like I already said a hundred times. But Jeff was still in the walls and Jeff did not love his life so he decided to love someone else. But Steve was hungry as well and Steve did not have an oven. The poor sud. So one day Jeff decided to confront Steve because they were both hungry but Steve had meat and Jeff Jeff did not have meat but Jeff knew how to cook and he even had a little OPV Ian in his spiderweb fort but yeah Steve had meat and Jeff in oven so Jeff convinced Steve to let him cook the meat. Well TSTV he was pretty impressed because I don't think anyone has ever seen a spider cook. But it was actually a really delicious meal and I say that pretty funny. Delicious Haya I knew that I would say it like that. Man now I am getting hungry and I am hungry just like Steve maybe I have a spider in a wall I do not know but it would be really cool and I would call that spider Jeff as well and he would be my personal cook because spiders cook delicious meals as Jeff did. But yeah Steve had some pig meat in his position and Jeff made a nice meal. And Jeff cooked it good and Steve was finally happy and Jeff was having a good time as well even though they were human and spider. They had some tea as well and they were having such a good time that they danced with each other. But I did not yet tell you how Jeff cooked with his special method did I? No because I was not yet done with my story and I already started talking about something else because I get distracted pretty quickly. But anyways fudge that entire story what do you all think about this masterpiece with all of this lava? And the thing is that I am not done placing lava for a long time because this is like the spider webs the liquid lava I mean by the spider webs. And these lava blocks are just for nice reasons and that we have maximum level of security. This is like a prison because this level of security is only found in prisons but but prisons have barbed wire because prisons like barbed wire so much but what I am curious about is why don't they just use lava man like it is 2017 like just use lava man because in a rectangle shape and let's just hope that this will turn into something that only we could dream of I guess but we have a pretty deep hole that we just dug and we could maybe use this hole that we will turn the tree of that hole into diamonds as a foundation for our hotel and then we could like make an entire basement that we needed anyway and then turn it into an actual basement basement and then we would kill two birds with one stone which you should actually never do not even killing one bird with one stone or anything like that that is bad and bad is not good good is only good and then you have well and better and yeah something like that i don't even know anymore but we need to make it even bigger the hole that we are possibly going to eventually turn into a basement of a hotel who knows maybe something like that will happen maybe it won't but the dream is all that counts well actually not don't listen to that advice that was some bad advice. I don't know what I was trying to say which I already had a couple of times this video. I don't know what is wrong with me today. But anyways the hole is getting bigger which is nice and I saw some iron in the ground which we could maybe use. Wait no we don't really need that we just need the tree and all of this tree will be turned into diamonds as you are going to see in a minute and then we can start with being wealthy and filthy rich. So I recommend to all of you to do the same while you can still do it and there are no laws against this, 
and then we will be friends and rich friends are great, we could then have really cool and big expensive and stuff parties and then like everything will be fun. But you probably all heard that money doesn't make you happy, but bills don't make you happy either so it is pretty darn handy to at least have some money to do stuff. With that money that you are going to have you can spend that on games and on Disneyland or whatever your heart desires. People it is time to end this video right here right now so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always I will see you in the next one.